Okay, so what's up, YouTube? Young Sneakhead back again with another video. And before before I actually get started with the video, I'm gonna have two unboxings. One should be I should have one tomorrow. Well, I should have one package coming tomorrow, and that's gonna be an unboxing. And these of them are like really anything like big. One's a pair of shoes, and then one's like a couple, couple articles of clothing. And then I should have the other one come in in the week, Monday of next week, something like that. Okay, so let's get into this video. I don't know, I have the hell on my screen, sorry about that. But, um, like, I, have no, I haven't made a video in a week, so I decided to make a video. It's gonna be my top five uh, sneakers in my collection as of now. So, I don't know if I should go from least to greatest, or I go from least to greatest. Let's do this. Alright. So, number five is just regular Jordan black books. Uh, like these, the reason I like these are probably not clean. No, they're probably not. At least I mean, they're probably, I've told you guys this, they're not clean my shoes, so I'm next to my well them. That's not like my black cement or something like that. Clean those. Let me lace these for a second. So this is taking like long, just the way I lace these. All right. So, Number five is the the Wolf Gray threes. The reason I like these is because one, they were the uh, last threes to release for a while at least. And then, I don't know, the Jordan threes, my favorite John Solar. I'm looking, like, I'm hoping, well, they probably won't do anytime soon. Hold on. Okay. But I'm hoping they will, like, uh, what do you call it? Like remaster or like not remaster, but like re retro pills and since we haven't had them since like 2011, probably won't happen for another two or three years. But if not, um, I would like to buy like a one like under five times pair, like size ten. I, I would probably trade anything in my collection for that. Maybe a couple of shoes. But yeah, so those those. I'm not even gonna put them back in the box. So I'm gonna buy it. Um, buy it. This is a really, really special shoe to me. This one. It's a big black. So she said, uh, uh, the bond box. Bond tin box. Uh, I would use today actually. And the song that's playing is all day by Kanye West. There's some, some annoying. Confused. Two. Okay, then I got it. Alright, so. Damn it. Alright, it's number four. Y'all probably not, not gonna agree with me, but these have like a million in them for me. Really. Got some shit stuck to the bottom of my shoe. That's okay. Alright, so the bottom 10 volts. reason I like these is because this was like my most major sneaker pickup. Well, I got the fireheads, but. I don't know. It's my first, like, probably my favorite pickup I got. This is still one of my favorite shoes in my collection. Favorite LeBron tend to, they came out with, I think. And we, number one, well, one of the number one reasons I like this because I got these on my trip to Hawaii. And they kind of helped me remember my, my niece's birth or whatever. Because I went to Hawaii to see her born, be born, whatever you call it. And this happened to pick those up. This happened to send a falaco. I think I don't even, I think they were just a general release. I wish I would have doubled up on them because prices went prices were like for DS to like 140, 150, which they were 180 retail, and now they're like two, two twenty. They jumped a little bit, but pretty soon I'm probably gonna end up picking up a new pair. These are not beat, like but they do have just like the normal like I don't know if you can see that it's like crease right there, sides kind of crease, but yeah, that's number four. Uh, Number one and number two was really hard to pick up. This is number three, I don't know what I'm saying. But alright, let's check the box. Alright, this is just a normal KD7 box. You probably might know this. This is my top five, four, however many it was. Uh, video. I just realized it's actually pretty dirty. Oh well. KD7 eggnog or Christmas, whatever you call it. This shoe, or until my 
false like number one in this came out. Like he was one of my favorite KD KD sevens to date. Probably in like my top two or three KDs of all time. It's like the way it looks kind of like an eggnog. Because oh well, you, you guys know what that's like. How it looks kind of like an eggnog esque like fill. Let's just say like the eggshell off the white toe box and the lid. Common roll. Uh, what do you call it? That's on the closet. Alright, so hills and. I don't know which one I'm gonna put number one or number two. Fuck it, this video is already almost six minutes, so yeah. It's another one. It's basically Jordan box. This was a Black Friday release. So, y'all gonna be able to guess this already? Hopefully, you can. Still going back in the box, not <laughs> taking these out, but oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Jordan 6 Black and Flood. These shoes, I think pixels like always, only like originally hold water, and I think we're gonna like, like retro in like in January of 2014, and they came out. Black Friday, which was like, I, don't, I can't even remember, November 18th, I'm gonna say. I have the receipt in, in the box, don't wanna check it. But yeah, it's just a clean shoe. When you see it, most people are just gonna know what it is. Well, it's not a single head, I guess you won't. But no, I take that back. Mine, my pill did have a couple flaws, it's irrelevant, but like, I didn't notice it until like, uh, like two weeks ago, but like the midsole or the outsole is kinda like farther out in the midsole. It's weird. But yeah. Let's so move on to my like number one. It's kind of weird, but yeah, let's go. It's kind of retarded, but yeah. That's all KD six box. I only have seven KD. I only have seven pair or four pairs of KD sevens. So it's pretty easy just to know these are. Just got these. This is one of my last like video, I think. Last. Yeah, these were my last video. But yeah. And I do not have some like sappy story like oh I love these so much or like oh I got these because someone in my family has this or whatever blah 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 blah. I just like the shoe and I've always liked the concept of the shoe and I like where well, the money goes for the shoe. KD7 Aunt Pulls. Hey y'all, bless can't sort of what it wanna call them. This shoe is just a sexy, sexy shoe. And I've always liked the uh, what do you call it, the bless cancel concept. Like I liked the KD seven apples, or not the sorry, KD four apples, but they just had a, like not that much going on. I didn't I wasn't into the sneakers when they dropped. And the KD six, I tried to grab that. I actually almost grabbed it like mm, in of July of last year. But there was some other stuff that I wanted that came out, so I waited off and got that. But again, kind of like the Blacksmith 3, that probably sell or trade most of anything in my collection for like nine and a half DS. So, yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. I should have a video tomorrow or an unboxing. So, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. So, that's my next video. I'm almost to 100 subs, I got my 88. So, if y'all could get me to 100 subs, I would really appreciate that. But yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.